So I've been basically um, trying to reinforce the holes um, using wood hardener and a paintbrush and a empty pop noodle pot. So basically what I've tried to do is um, just, uh, I want to clean up these holes um, and so they're very, they're, they're very cardboardy so uh, the wood hardener is supposed to kind of give it a bit of strength so that you can sand it nice and flat with some sort of sandy roundy thing. So that's the plan anyway. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to sand them flat yet, but probably with some sandpaper or maybe sandpaper wrapped around something cylindrical and kind of rolling it back and forth in and out of the holes or I don't know, but um, basically one tin of wet rot wood hardener covers the whole surface. Um, I might I'll probably buy some more actually just to completely cover it and make it less patchy. I've also got to do the inside as well, um, but I might just um, do that with uh, MDF paint, which is basically it's not as good as wet rot wood hardener, but um, it's, it's basically more just to seal in the MDF and, and do that. So, but I found the, the wet rot wood hardener is, is quite good for these kind of jobs when you're trying to harden very soft material very quickly because it's basically almost like super glue. It kind of just, you can just paint it on and and it goes relatively hard in, in a very short time. Um, you just got to be careful not to put on too much because, as it's still wet, it makes the it reduces the MDF to the substance of cardboard and, in effect, loosens or weakens the uh, structure. So you just want to kind of not overdo it. Basically, what I did was I started with the holes to strengthen up the holes, and then whatever was left, I just slapped all over the body. And uh, it's pretty much covered most of it. I just, I, yeah, like I said, I'll probably have to get some more just to make it less patchy. The other thing, like once it's got an even surface of of that stuff, in theory, the paint will go on nice and even as well because it'll be it'll have a a non-porous surface. This is basically what you want. You want a a nice surface that um acts the same way as fiberglass. That it's non-porous. You can spray straight on it and you know, you don't have to put on too many layers of paint because um, paint a Dalek, you can use up a hell of a lot of spray cans. So, and with MDF, it tends to absorb into the surface. So you have to be kind of, you know, this is what I'm saying. You have to kind of um, block it with, block the surface with some sort of varnish, hence the the wood hardener. But, uh, but mainly, yeah, like I say, just I needed to, harden up these holes so I can sand them down and then just crack on with doing the inside and um, fill any bits that need filling um, and yeah that, that should be essentially the skirt ready to paint and onto the next bits.